Hi folks, it's Cameron Goebel here from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and this is Lesson 7 of the Old Time Banjo Teaching Project brought to you by Patrick Costello at the Daily Frail and by banjo teachers all around the world, banjo teachers like me. Um, it's kind of weird to think of myself as a banjo teacher because I only have eight months of experience playing the banjo, but uh, this lesson I think I can pull off. By now you've learned how to tune your banjo, you've learned all the parts of your banjo, you've learned how to put a strap on your banjo, and you've learned how to put strings on your banjo. So now it's time to learn how to hold the banjo. Now, like I said, I only have eight months of experience, but I think I can pull this one off. Um, because in addition to those eight months of experience, I also have an extensive Guitar Hero background. So I've got my Guitar Hero guitar right here. I am going to apply what I know from Guitar Hero to playing the banjo for you. So, my banjo, well, my guitar, is uh, is slung nice and low down here so I can really weedly, weedly, wee on these colorful little buttons. Uh, that technique earned me five stars on Expert for uh, a number of songs. This is not about playing Guitar Hero, though. This is about playing banjo. So I'm going to get my banjo. Here's my banjo. I love you, baby. Here's my banjo. Got my strap on. And as you can see, I've got it nice and low slung so I can really wheelie wheelie wee on those strings. Now, as I said, that technique earned me five stars on Expert on Ziggy Stardust from David Bowie. So, um, how to hold the banjo? Well, look at me, I'm holding the banjo. So, there's your lesson, uh, you can stop right now, or we can go on to the thing that I really wanted to do, I wanna jump ahead and, uh, and play for you, Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie, arranged for the banjo by myself. Now, I'm sitting in my chair, and I'm going to play for you right here. Here we go. Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. Whoa. All right. Not a very good tone there. And get comfortable here. i got a problem here. Um, this chair just totally dipped right back on me. And I'm kind of having comfortable problems getting comfortable because these arms are in the way. Uh, you know, I, I need a better chair. Hold on a minute. Okay, better chair. Here we go. All right. Here's a better chair. Okay, this one has a nice firm back. It does adjust a little bit, but it's not going to go dipping back on me like that other one did. And uh, no arms to get in the way. So, all right, got my nice low slung banjo here. I am ready to rule on this one. Here we go. Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. All right. I'm still having problems. Um, this doesn't feel very comfortable to me. Uh, you, you know, I, I tried to strum the strings, and to strum the strings, you're, you're going to be using your finger here, and they go across the strings like that. And I know I need to make a nice clean sound, but with it way down here, what ended up happening was I, I was sliding up. My finger found the groove and it slid right up. Um, and being, you know, low slung like this, the, the banjo is going to fall right off. So, all right, we got to fix this. Um, you know from your lessons earlier that this is called a pot. Do you know where this goes? It goes on your big pot belly. That's right. So I wanted to end up with a banjo right here. Uh, I gotta tighten my strap. Let's get this guy tight. Here we go. All right. Now it's right here up on my pot belly, but that makes another kind of problem because I, in order to strum those strings with a nice straight arm, um, I'm still gonna end up catching the string or wrenching my wrist around so they can go straight down on the strings. Um, there's another problem too, is that with the with the banjo way out here, um, it's going to try and get away from me, and I'm going to need to pull it back. And so, listen to what happens when I try to pull this back. Did you hear that warble? Yeah. See, if I put too much tension on the neck, it's going to change the tension on the strings, and then the tuning is going to go off. Now, bending effects are kind of cool, but I want to be in control of my bending effect, and that doesn't fix my wrist issue. So if I want to have my wrist nice and straight, then I need to rotate the banjo up so that it's nice and straight. See how now I can move my entire arm almost perpendicular right across those, uh, those strings. 
Yeah, that's nice. And uh, I don't have to woggle it so much to keep it in place, so I'm not going to end up doing stuff like that. Um, unless I do it on purpose. So now I've got a little more control of the banjo. So I'm sitting with my back up good, nice and straight. I'm in a chair that's not going to dip back on me. Uh, it doesn't have any arms, so I can really get myself comfortable. I've got my pot on my big pot belly. I've got my banjo fifth peg t uh, right here in my ear where it kind of belongs. And that means that I've got control now. I'm not going to be putting too much tension on anything. I can just rest my arm right here and play for you. David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust. Here we go. banjo right, but I just don't have any picking control. I think I'm going to tune into the next lesson of the uh, Old Time Banjo Project. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. This is Cameron Goebel from Albuquerque, New Mexico.